My name is Zach Stoker, and I teach at Brady Exploration School. I teach all sciences for high school. Uh, there's nothing typical in my classroom. Because it's completely asynchronous, there usually aren't very many students working exactly at the same point in time and space. Uh, they all start together, obviously, and uh, as we know as educators, the, the biggest piece of differentiation is time. And so allowing students the time they need to really get into the material and to fully understand it really spreads them out pretty quickly. They know what they need to do. They know the classroom routine. They come in, they grab their computing device, they sit down at the tables they're going to work at. Uh, they know the, the operation of the course. But where we go from there is pretty much up to them, where they're at on that day. I do add in a lot of things on Monday, specifically. We do kind of Magic Monday. And again, that's a chance for me to kind of import my passion and get into the tangential aspects of the science we're trying to teach. You know, kind of dazzle them. I personally enjoy that aspect of teaching, so I didn't want to get rid of that completely. And that's where a lot of the engagement comes in for them trying to learn the more mundane aspects of the, the topics we're trying to teach. There'll be a couple other times during the week when we do whole group, you know, in my attempt to kind of accordingly back together, sort of try to pace them out again on the more difficult assignments, things where I know that there's going to be difficulty and I'm going to wind up going back for the sake of logistics, I'll bring them together and we'll do and sign it all together. It's really the backwards design model. So you need to know what it is exactly you want to accomplish in your course. Uh, the joy of having a, a learning management system like Schoology is you can get everything all out and done before you kid even steps through your classroom. That's really scary. You've never done it before because that's a ton of front end work. But like I said, once once that's accomplished, really all you're doing the rest of the time is, is what you're good at, is, is that one-on-one -on -one instruction getting to know your students, guiding you through the things that they need guidance through, and also letting them do the things they don't need your guidance, and letting them do that on your own. You know, that's a really powerful feeling for a student to know, yeah, I got this, I'm good, and they can be left alone. You know, we have the, the range of abilities and also the range of personalities, and some students really flourish by letting them be kind of on their own and just checking in with them every once in a while. So more, more in the ways that you decide which elements you're going to spend more time on when you're doing your lesson planning is kind of the way you decide what you're going to do face-to-face -face versus purely online. You, when you know there's going to be elements that are going to be more difficult for the students to, to get through by themselves, those are the things you usually decide to you know, pull everybody together and um, go offline and, and do it more of a traditional way. But really, anything is possible. So. I mean, a hands-on element for science, I think you should never really take that away from a science class. It's, it's just sad. So, I mean, all the, all the experimentation, all of the observations, um, those are really good things in science for particular to, to do offline. Um, so the benefits that I've seen is the ability to differentiate. Uh, I basically, I work with each student individually. Which sounds like a lot of work, but I'm going to have all the time in the world to do it during my class because I'm not involved doing the things that teachers are normally doing, trying to keep the class together, trying to do one thing um, as, a, as a whole. And so I, I, I think that's probably one of the best aspects of teaching. I think mastery-based is really something that is perfectly aligned to online and blended learning. Because uh, it allows a student to see what they've done, they can see the scope of the work they need to do, and they have a better understanding of why it is they're doing what they're doing. They see the end, they, they sort of see the individual steps to get there. So I think the really big benefit of, of hybrid learning is you have all the independence that you have of online learning. You're not doing the, the typical sage on the stage or the chalk and talk. Uh, the instruction's coming from various outlets. There's a suggested pace, there's a time frame when we have to give grades. Um, but if you allow them access to the course for the duration of the school year, you can kind of eliminate those things. And so that's one of the things I find the most exciting is when you add mastery-based learning to anything that you want to teach, you're really focusing on quality, not quantity. And so when you ask them to go back and fix something, they don't get that sense of frustration as much or that sense of, you know, now I'm going to be behind because everyone else is moving on tomorrow, but you need me to do this because... There is no move, moving on to that. You know, they're all they're working at their pace, at their ability. But you got to do it. You know, you have to try. Um, 
I think it's almost easier to jump in with both feet than to try to place an element here and an element there. So the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. It's, it's sort of obvious, but em embrace that, that backwards design, embrace the concept of mastery learning, and see where it can take you. It can really free you to do things you never thought you'd be able to do. Fire in the hole! <laughs> <laughs> yeah!